As Alan wandered through the dense woods enveloping his Hood River, Oregon home, he stumbled upon an unexpected sight. An ancient, rusting car sat abandoned amidst the foliage. Yet what truly jolted him were the fresh imprints of footsteps surrounding the vehicle, hinting at recent activity in this secluded spot. His heart quickened as he noticed something even more unsettling. His daughter's cherished doll lay discarded inside the car, a stark contrast to its eerie surroundings. With a surge of anxiety, Alan's mind raced with questions, each one more troubling than the last. Despite the tranquil beauty of the forest, Alan couldn't shake the unnerving feeling that he was being watched. As he ventured deeper into the woods, his solitude was shattered by an unexpected presence drawing dangerously close. Even in the midst of nature's embrace, Alan couldn't escape the prickling sensation of unease that crept over him. Though the woods had always been his sanctuary, offering solace and a sense of connection, today they held secrets that threatened to unravel his peace of mind. As he trekked through the familiar paths of the forest, something caught his eye. A previously unnoticed trail winding its way through the dense undergrowth. Intrigued by this unexpected discovery, he followed the new path deeper into the woods until it led him to a startling sight. An abandoned car nestled amidst the trees. The incongruity of the scene struck him. This secluded area was hardly conducive to vehicular traffic, yet there it sat a relic of bygone days, weathered and worn by time. Despite the inherent danger of exploring such uncharted territory, his curiosity got the better of him, compelling him to draw closer to the derelict vehicle. Its dilapidated appearance suggested it had been abandoned for years, yet the presence of fresh tracks encircling it hinted at recent activity. A shiver ran down his spine as he entertained the possibility that someone might still be living within its confines hidden from the outside world amidst the wilderness. As Alan surveyed the area surrounding the abandoned car, he noted the scattered belongings strewn haphazardly nearby. A pair of shoes, some articles of clothing, and the remnants of a recently extinguished fire. The sight confirmed his suspicion. Someone had indeed made this desolate spot their temporary abode. Intent on investigating further, he approached the car with cautious steps, his mind already formulating plans to inform the authorities once he returned home. Just as he was about to turn away and make his exit, his gaze fell upon something unexpected inside the car. A doll. While the presence of a child's toy wouldn't typically arouse concern, this particular doll stood out as unique among the ordinary possessions scattered about. Its peculiar appearance gave him pause, prompting him to reconsider his decision to leave and instead delve deeper into the mystery unfolding before him. The doll lying amidst the abandoned car's interior held a significance that struck Alan with a wave of disbelief. It wasn't just any doll. It was a handmade creation, a cherished possession belonging to Susan, his ex-wife's daughter. Laura, his ex-wife, had crafted it with love, ensuring it bore a tag bearing Susan's name and address in case it ever went missing, a testament to the care she put into every detail for their daughter's happiness. Alan's mind raced with questions as to why such a precious memento would be found in such an unexpected and desolate place, especially considering he hadn't heard from Laura or his daughter in months. The discovery of the doll opened a floodgate of emotions for Alan, stirring a mixture of concern confusion and longing for the family he had been estranged from. As he grappled with the implications of finding Susan's cherished possession in this remote location, he couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to this situation than met the eye. Determined to uncover the truth and perhaps find some closure to the mystery surrounding his wife and daughter's disappearance from his life, Alan resolved to delve deeper into the enigma surrounding the abandoned car and its unexpected contents. The aftermath of their divorce left Alan grappling with a profound sense of loss and longing for the daughter he cherished deeply. Despite the bitterness of their separation, he made the difficult decision to prioritize his daughter's well-being, conceding full custody to Laura to spare her the turmoil of a contentious legal battle. Trusting in Laura's ability to provide a loving and stable environment for their child, Alan attempted to rebuild his life 
though the distance between them in Seattle weighed heavily on his heart. However, the discovery of Susan's doll in such an unexpected location reignited a flurry of unresolved questions and concerns, casting doubt on the peaceful life he had hoped for his daughter with Laura. The mystery surrounding the doll's presence in the abandoned car stirred a tumult of emotions within Alan, prompting him to confront the uncertainty that had plagued him since their divorce. As he grappled with the possibility of foul play or unforeseen circumstances impacting his daughter's life, Alan couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to the story than he had been led to believe. Determined to uncover the truth and perhaps find a semblance of closure to the unresolved questions surrounding his daughter's disappearance from his life, Alan braced himself for the challenging journey ahead, knowing that the answers he sought might unearth painful truths about the family he had once hoped to build. With trembling hands, Alan carefully retrieved the doll from the abandoned car, its presence sending a surge of worry coursing through him. The familiar tag confirming it as Susan's toy only intensified his unease, fueling a flurry of anxious thoughts about his daughter's well-being. As he scanned the dense forest surroundings, a sense of disorientation gripped him, overshadowed by the haunting uncertainty of what might have transpired to bring Susan's cherished possession to this remote and desolate location. Lost in a labyrinth of troubling conjectures, Alan's search inside the car was abruptly halted by the sound of a voice, slicing through the eerie silence of the forest. Startled, he froze in place, heart pounding with a mixture of apprehension and curiosity. Every nerve on edge, Alan strained to discern the source of the unexpected interruption, his mind racing with a myriad of apprehensions about the enigmatic circumstances unfolding before him. What are you doing? A female voice surprised him, but he immediately realized who was speaking. Laura. Alan stood up from the car and looked at his ex-wife, who was tightly holding their daughter's hand. They looked disheveled and Laura was almost scared. But the little girl took his attention away from his ex-wife's face as she recognized him. Daddy! She shouted and came to hug him. He bent down to hug his daughter, giving her the doll and smiling at her. Hi, sweetheart. Did you come after us, Daddy? The little girl asked, and Alan nodded, though he had no idea what she meant. Laura, what's going on here? Alan asked after standing back up. She looked around seemingly ashamed of herself, and spoke directly to Susan. Honey, why don't you get in the car for a minute? I need to talk to Daddy. Their daughter complied, and Alan closed the car door gently as he got in, then looked at his wife. Okay, what's going on? He asked again, his hands raised slightly to his sides. Laura pursed her lips, crossed her arms, and her face showed a deep pain that Alan had never seen. This was not the strong but stubborn woman he had known. Something was going on with her and she needed to know. Laura, you know you're always safe with me. We're divorced, but you're the mother of my child. Tell me, please, Alan comforted, speaking more softly so Susan couldn't hear anything. Finally, he began to speak. My boyfriend, well, ex, the one I left you for, changed as soon as we got married. It was hell. But I took him in. It was a disaster. Well, he kicked us out of the house, and we've been here for a few weeks now. Alan raised a frustrated hand to his forehead. What? He kicked you out? How is that possible? Did you call the police? He threatened me and Susan, so I had to leave immediately. I didn't care about our things, continued Laura, tears streaming down her face. Why didn't you call me? Alan asked, pained that his ex-wife and daughter had been sleeping in an abandoned car for weeks. I was ashamed, okay? She lamented quietly. I didn't want to call you, especially since we split up after I met him, and I was so cruel to ask for full custody of Susan. I didn't know how to face you. I was such an idiot. I'm so sorry, Alan. He rushed to her and hugged her tightly. Susan saw them and pushed the door open to join the embrace. I want a hug too, Mommy, she said in her little voice. Alan made a decision at that moment while holding these women in his arms. They would never be alone again. So he took them home and called a lawyer, who arranged for the police to remove Laura's husband from their property. They also initiated divorce proceedings. After completing that complicated process, Laura decided to sell the house because it held too many painful memories. 
She had made too many mistakes in her life there to keep it. Furthermore, Alan assured her that they could stay with him as long as necessary. She apologized almost every day and began sewing dolls again. She made one that looked exactly like her and one like Alan, labeling them with their names. Susan loved them and always kept the three dolls together, symbolizing their reunited family. Eventually, Alan and Laura spent so much time together that they fell in love again and remarried. Susan was the flower girl at the wedding. Their family would never be separated again. If this story touched you as much as it did us, you should watch this video. Man Awakens After five years in coma says he was aware of everything. Click here to get the full story.